where to now? Wherever the leads take us. What does that even mean? Also, be careful about the bodies. The ship can't handle it. Say we find the gym. What'll you do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym, or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. We both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. You always say that. And whenever you say that, we get to the point where I learn, and I'm horrified, or angry, or, oh, you know, I wish to punch you so hard in the face that you'll shit out your own teeth. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Found a wreck. It's been here a while. Would you it? Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. What do you have? A war horn. Baron Clan Haymai symbols. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimmon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Are you? So freaking erratically. Let's try this again. Could we mage that damn bitch out of the air, something like that? Show some initiative. Actually, I probably shouldn't ask you to do that because whenever you do show initiative, we end up in trouble, or we make trouble for someone else. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. I'll just fuse with the mass first and then go diving. Mage See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fortia Badem Ain Achte Ilivade. You really don't believe in consent, do you, woman? That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. 
A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a djinn. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fultia, Badem, Ain, Eichte. No djinn here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Sure. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the djinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. No, we don't! Let's do it! Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Awesome! Come, let's search the ship. This is the best idea ever. This is the Something only good idea you ever had. The eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. I am exploring. Nothing interesting. Nothing here. Great. Maybe down here? That's definitely interesting. Stuff. Wonder what this means. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. There are but two names are drawn of some cats and dragons. Huh. Nice 
his shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Wonder what this means. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Elemental Empires by Gian Battista. Say, see if the genies are intelligent. That kind of means I'm kind of opposed Nothing to just interesting. binding them. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. So, they popped out of the shoes, fell backwards, and then landed on this. Which then yeah, proceeded to crush. I think you should see this. What do you have? A body. It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even and the Jinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Oh. Always knew too much studying could kill you. Well, that's pretty much what I imagined too. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck, I've an idea. What a way to go. Kinda of ominous how the ship was just sheer right there. Right there. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame Jin. Rifkaishta en Gaia. Kaishta et Disclare, Devered me castle. Um, hello? Can we have a wish? Take it, you have a... Okay, Jin, the pitcher emitted a puff of glowing red smoke. The smoke pulsated, then gathered in a regular sphere, floating in front of the poet's head. The first longing, a, fantastic, a tale fantastic in all ways. A Jin is a powerful air spirit, a condensation of the power of said element endowed with consciousness and character. The latter are usually nasty. A constellation Jin's can grant even the most far-fetched wishes, though they do so begrudgingly. Usually, powerful mates can capture and tame these beings. A mate who succeeds in doing so can then draw energy from such a spirit, using it to cast spells without having to summon the power from traditional sources. Only a handful have ever managed this feat, however, for Jin's fight to avoid such a fate with stubborn determination. To impress the Jin and bend into one's will, one must first weaken it. That is no easy task. Finding Jin's is extraordinarily difficult. They can fling off spells in an instant that the most accomplished of human mages could never master with years of practice of preparation. What's more, by manipulating the elements of air, they can summon gales, powerful storms, even hurricanes. Luckily, as magic beings, they're vulnerable to silver, yet steel will do them no harm. The Materium Bomb and Elementor. Okay. How nice of him to let me work on my things here. Uh, let's see. Elementor. I do have that. Can I upgrade it? Wait. Went too far.
Ah, uh, needs all spice. Let's see, do material bomb. Let's see if we have enough of that. I do. Sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. We've improved. Last time we tamed a djinn, we destroyed half of Rind. Yes, we make a good team. No, we don't. Stop doing this game. Thank I'm you not for coming, for Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. That's true. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Hopefully. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought you'd become a stranger to me, that I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Oh, God. Yeah, this is gonna be painful, but I believe this is what we best. Sorry, Yen, but magic's gone for me. Truly? But 
How is that possible? I still feel the same. You should too. I don't understand. What does this mean? Means the Jin granted your wish. Right. Fine. Good. Glad we got that over with. We know where we stand, at least. Yep. You are left for us here. Let's go. You are. Right. Magic's gone, true, but that doesn't mean I don't like spending time with you. It does. Let's sit a while. Let's not. Now let's move on with our life. Without her. Good riddance, I say. Hey, thank you for informing me that I could get the relationship broken up here. That helped a lot. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. I'm off. Me Thank too. you. I'll collect Duma from the Baron, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. Farewell. Farewell. Good riddance. Get lost. Out with you. Bye. So long, Yen. Don't hurry back.